All right, so it looks like we're gonna be working on the Tahoe again today. Uh, I'm looking at my dials and it looks like there is a problem with the engine coming up to temperature. I'll show you what I'm seeing right now. So after bouncing around town for a little bit, the temperature never really got up there to 210. In fact, while I was uh, driving down the road, it was just kind of floating around 160, whatever that first hash mark means, maybe 170, 180. Uh, it should be closer to 200 for optimal uh, engine running temperatures. So I think the thermostat is stuck open, so we're going to pop a new one in today. Our first step is going to be to disconnect the negative battery terminal, and that's going to be a 10 millimeter socket to loosen that uh, clamp and get that off. Just leave that disconnected for the whole project. We want to remove this uh, air system here uh, so that we can get access to the thermostat. So what there's going to be is there is a um, clip here we have to loosen in order to uh, remove this hose. There's actually another one uh, right on the throttle body, the flathead screw right there. And then there's uh, two connectors, these PCV connectors. I got one off already. And then uh, you just uh, push this button um, and then slide that off. So once we have that off, we'll have access to that thermostat. All right, with everything disconnected, slide this guy out. And you can see your thermostat right there. The thermostat is located in the front of the engine. Uh, in front of that is a radiator hose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect it here and uh, I'm gonna try and drain what's in this hose uh, into the Ziploc bag just uh, so I minimize the spill. Uh, then I will loosen those three bolts. Uh, one other hose right here. So I'll loosen this little clamp, slide it up and then pull this one off as well. Then we'll be ready to uh, remove that thermostat. These pliers are pretty nice, by the way, at uh, removing some of these pinch clamps. Just to give you an idea of uh, how much coolant I drained off the top of that hose, uh, I got about a half a freezer bag full. Uh, I'm not going to reuse this, but I just didn't want it spilling all over the garage uh, floor. All right, once you remove, once you remove that little breather hose, you will lose a little bit of uh, coolant there. So I'm just going to put a Put a rag over it um, to sop it all up. Keep things moving while that towel is kind of soaking up uh, some of that coolant that's dripping out. We're going to go ahead and remove those three bolts. That's going to be a 10 millimeter uh, socket. So let's get those off. All right, so I've got these bolts loosened. I did pack a towel around it. You are going to lose um, some radiator coolant. Uh, while you pull that off, but um, uh, not much. Don't worry about it. And with these three bolts removed, we can now lift out our thermostat. And there it is. All right, there is going to be a new gasket. Uh, with the replacement thermostat, so you don't want to leave this in. So let's get that out of there. Before we jump into installing the new one, we just want to eyeball the old versus the new one to make sure uh, nothing looks incorrect. Uh, and it does not, so we can go ahead and install the new one. I inserted all of the bolts. I threaded them carefully by hand just to make sure I didn't cross-thread anything. I did put some thread lock on all of them. And uh, as you can see, this is a plastic um, thermostat. So you want to get these bolts snug, but don't over-tighten them or you'll just crack um, your new part. Okay, and again, after getting them all fairly snug... I'm just giving them you know, a little firm twist. The thread lock will lock. And again, I don't wanna risk cracking that plastic. So get it nice and snug and you're all set. You can start reconnecting the hoses. This end of the hose back on, then I'll put on that small Once breather that line. small breather line is attached. Uh, I am gonna fill this uh, main hose with some more fluid before I uh, put it on here just to minimize the amount of air that's in the system and with the hoses reattached the new thermostat is installed 
Uh, the last thing I want to do is fill this tank up to the line with some fresh coolant. With our coolant tank filled, the last thing we want to do is now put the uh, air silencer box back to on. And remember, uh, you're going to attach it to the throttle body. You're going to connect it to that air box over there. And then there are those two PCV valves to connect. So let's get that done. All right, so we now have everything back together. Uh, I did replace the cap after filling the coolant reservoir. I have not hooked up the negative battery terminal yet, but I will do that now. Let's take this thing for a spin. Uh, I'll watch the temperature on the thermostat uh, gauge, and uh, I will run the heat. That should circulate the coolant and get any air bubbles out of the system. So let's take it for a spin and see how that temperature reads and most uh, important to see if that temperature goes up to a normal operating temperature. Um, some of you may one be wondering why I did not change the temperature sensor uh, at the same time I changed the thermostat. Uh, just to let everybody know, my temperature sensor went dead last year uh, and just ran the fans constantly. So um, I decided not to put a new sensor in because I don't think that's the problem. Um, if it is, as you just saw, I can pull that air box off and uh, change that temp sensor if need be. So let's see what happens. So after driving around town, basically the same lap I did uh, about an hour ago, I now have uh, an engine temperature that's pretty close to 200, 205, uh, which is really where I want it. So this tells me that the thermostat is now functioning properly and this project was a success. If any of you guys are having a similar problem and uh, you're thinking about taking this to the shop, uh, keep in mind you're looking at about seven to eight hundred bucks uh, to have this done. It's pretty easy and you should be able to do it yourself. Good luck.